Jesus. This is the haunting tale of our first experience with Outlast 2. I had the chance to play Outlast 2 at this year's PAX East, and as a huge fan of horror games, I was really excited about that. Once I started playing, I was completely immersed in the world of Outlast 2, and what a world that ends up being. Gone are the grungy and claustrophobic hallways of Outlast Mount Massive Asylum, and in their place is a nightmarish farm village somewhere in the middle of an Arizona desert. It's an interesting tonal shift from the first game, with even a bit more emphasis on sci-fi elements, but it fits within the Outlast universe so wholly that my heartbeat immediately got faster as soon as I lifted my camera up for the first time. Before long, the familiar Outlast groundwork slid into place. The night vision camera, the scrounging for replacement batteries, and the disgusting swaths of rotting somethings and buzzing flies were all accounted for. From what I experienced in the brief 10 minute session, the gameplay is fairly similar to the original Outlast. No weapons, just your camera and your ability to run and hide and hopefully not die. However, it is in the rash and unexpected environmental changes where I feel that Outlast 2 will earn its true legs as a sequel. Albate trembling legs inside piss-soaked pants. The demo culminates in a terrifying chase sequence through a jagged cornfield as several searchlights in the distance hunt me down. And the ending cinematic easily rivals, if not surmounts, some of the most disturbing and sickening moments of both the first Outlast and its sadistic whistleblower DLC. In a word, it's awesome. It's disgustingly, pulse-raisingly, violently awesome, and I loved every moment of it. I'm not sure what other horrors are still in store, because there's so much of Outlast 2 that I haven't experienced yet, but once the game lashes out from the shadows later this year, I don't think anyone will be ready for it. One day, a long, long time from now, I may even miss fleeing for my life through a midnight cornfield while I play from inside a small makeshift church. Tonight, however, that exact scenario will be the basis of my nightmares.